What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Today, I'm showing you guys how to legit check V2s. And this is basically a way to tell if a pair is real or fake from what I think. So before you guys comment, even though I know you guys are going to say, no, that's not a way to tell. This is the way I tell, okay? And if you don't want to listen to me, then don't. But for those of you listening, thank you. This is a really good way to tell, in my opinion. So let's get on to it. Here I have five pair of Yeezys, which is probably going to be the thumbnail. Two of them are fake, and I'm sure if you guys watch the channel, you guys know which one they are. They are the zebras, because I can't afford zebras. So I have to have these companies send them to me. The first thing I go to to tell V2s are fake are the three stripes. Here's the breads. Here's the zebras. Here's the Oreos. Here's the other zebras. And here are the belugas. I'm gonna show you the best fakes out of the zebras and then obviously my real pair. If you guys look at the stripes, you guys can see that the zebras, they are a little more separated with the lines in between. And when I say that, I mean those lines right there, that one and that one. You see they're a little wide. Now if you go to the real ones, you can see that they are a lot skinnier and these lines are the same width. Now if we put them side by side, it's easier for, so you guys can tell. These are a lot thinner and they are the same size like the width is the same they are skinny these it is a little thicker on the zebras and it's focusing on the knife you can see it's a little bit thicker on the zebras so that's one way to tell now if we go to the other pair this is just way off like you can see how wide that is it's not supposed to be that wide it's supposed to be pretty thin if i go to my oreos you can see those are thin as well if you go to my belugas these are thin as well, even though these are like printed on or something. I don't know what they are, but these are thin. One good tip about these lines is if the lines, first of all, if they're not parallel, they're definitely fake. I'm just going to say that right away. If they're not parallel, if they're going like one's going up and then the other ones are going like the other two ways, like it looks like an upside down Atari sign, then that's definitely a giveaway that they're fake because Adidas is not going to give you some crappy quality. Like they're not going to make mess this up for you. They're definitely going to get it right. I don't think a factory flaw would come like that. A factory flaw might be like some little stitching sticking out or something like that, but nothing too major like that. Next up is the insole. The zebras are going to be white and the rest are black and gray, which are the real ones. First of all, your insole should never look like this. It shouldn't have that much room. At least it should be like that. Now, if we go to my belugas, for some reason, it goes all the way up like that. And at first, I thought that was fake when I saw somebody's pair like that. But then I saw mine, and I'm like, wait, that's not fake. So I kind of messed up on that dude. I told him they were fake, but they weren't. But this is when I didn't know about this, because I didn't really look at my belugas. And these are real. All my uses are real because it came from either Foot Locker, Foot Action, or Champs. Going based off this is really hard because you, it's really, you don't even know what it's supposed to look like off the, off the bat. I mean, it's supposed to look squared up. If you look at this one, it is squared just like that. The edges are squared. On my other pair, edges are squared. And on the other pair, edges are squared. If you look at the fake ones, it's rounded. And on this one, it's rounded. A little more squared, but it's rounded. Next up with the insoles is the texture. They are supposed to be pretty flimsy. They're not supposed to be stiff at all. I mean, it's really hard to show you guys, but they are supposed to feel pretty soft. They're supposed to feel fake in a way. It sounds weird, but yeah. I feel I thought they would be a little more stiffer, but they are actually a lot flimsier. So if your fakes, well, if your shoes that you buy, if whatever Yeezys, if they come decently thick like that, they're fake. They're not supposed to be that thick. They're supposed to be pretty thin, actually, like that. Kind of hard. I'll show you guys the difference. I'll try to. I'll try to show you guys the difference. I don't know if you guys can see how much thicker this is. The fake pair, the one that I'm shaking, and it is a decent amount thicker than the other two, which are the real pairs. And they are obviously gonna be stiffer because they're thicker. For some reason, I guess the fake companies can't get that right. I don't know about Perfect Kicks. I do have a pair of Perfect Kicks fakes coming in, hopefully next week. So I'll show you guys that. And then I'll compare that on the video on the spot when I get them. And also another thing is the print right here, the Adidas logo, try to look at the lines. It has to look perfect. That Adidas logo has to look 100% perfect. No imperfections whatsoever. Look at all my real pairs. Look how nice that Adidas logo looks. And look at the other one here, the Beluga. That Adidas logo looks flawless. Now if we go to the fake pairs, the lines, like usually I'm trying to look at the lines in between. You can see there, it just looks like there's a flaw in that. And this one as well. I mean, this one looks better, but the lines are too thin there. So that's a way to tell, I guess. Last but not least, this is a really good way to tell in my opinion, because other than the fact of the company, if there's a fake company that uses real boost, this is a good way to tell. So this is probably, I say this is mm, the second way I go to check and then I go to the insoles. So what you wanna do is grab a flashlight, any flashlight, I would obviously use the one on your phone because everybody has that. And what you wanna do, I say this a lot, is shine the light right through the boost up and down so you can see. And I tried to explain this in the last video or two videos ago. And what you, what you wanna do is, all right, if you guys can see that boost, you guys can see like there's a shadow 
it looks like those you can see the yellow lines and then inside the yellow lines is like a black shadow that shows that the boost isn't 100 percent transparent now if i go to the real pair it's supposed to look like that it's a lot more transparent it's not as dark and if you shine it all the way up and down the boost it looks the same you see more yellow it looks more clear and this is going to be a really hard one to understand for you guys because it's like it's not something i can exactly explain but if you guys know what i'm saying or if you guys have tested this out before you guys would know this is a real pair another real pair even though this one has a little shadow and another real pair this one's actually the most clear out of the three and the two fake pairs look like that you can see that those like little circles in the shadows and this is the other fake pair you can see that one's just not i mean that one's not bad just kidding yeah it is you can see like the shadows there too if i go up and down but yeah that's pretty much it guys like i said the number one way is to go to the heel tab and then go to the boost and then go to the insole and if one of those don't match up chances are the pair is fake so that's pretty much it guys there's a bunch of other ways to tell which i mean i could tell you guys but a lot of fakes are getting them right nowadays and it's like and sometimes people will like there's just things that Ugh, I don't know explain it. There's just some ways that I would say to tell they're fake, but a lot of fakes are getting them right, so there's no point in telling you guys. Like before, I would tell you guys the width, but even that's hard to tell. If they're used, then it's hard to tell because obviously the shoe's gonna stretch out a little bit. But if they're brand new, it should not look like that. It should look like that. You guys see it looks has more of a triangle feel to it. This one's more wide, like a cup holder. And let me show you guys the other fake. This one's actually even worse. This one literally looks like a fat thumb. But if I go to all my real pairs, that one's real, that one's real, and that one's real. You can see they're a lot skinnier. And if you go to the front, the front's a lot harder to tell. That's why I just go based off the back. Before I before I start cutting up these Yeezys, let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to do with them or show you guys. Let me know ASAP because I'm just about ready to cut these soles off. Before I go, I do want to give a shout out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day is the Mexican Roger. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 50,000 subscribers so I can choose a winner of the Yeezy giveaway. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you get all your friends to subscribe and join the giveaway as well. Make sure you stay woke. Our sneaker's signing out. Oh, damn. That was a good